back from Dubai. I'm chilled out, I'm relaxed. I'm looking forward to a next week of work. I'm ready to roll. There's a hell of a lot of used cars in the country. They just can't seem to get rid of them. From an editorial perspective, we will do a test drive for used car every month. Everywhere in the world, the oil prices went down, except this part of the world, the oil prices went up because we sell it. What happens is that the new car dealerships start making these fantastic promotions because they have to get those cars out of their showrooms. We're trying to bank on it and sell it off as a trend. Basically, sure. Like, so these guys are doing it. Let's you do guys it. should as well. We're not going to do like uh, low cost cars. This has to be uh, luxurious. Or... Oh, Actually, why don't you ask the car dealer? you have a car for the month which could be slightly cheaper just for that one month that they come and buy it. Then that makes it more appealing. I'm impressed, Nadia. Cheers, guys. Yeah, I felt quite good about coming up with the idea and I think everyone else was. Hello, that's why I'm here. Samir, how was Dubai? Dude, Dubai was amazing. You guys enjoyed it? I mean, I don't know what to tell you, where to start, where to finish, but we had so many cars, but the Ferrari and the McLaren, it was just with us, man, night and day. <laughs> I want to go back to Dubai. <laughs> I had too much fun there. And we did a great job of photo shooting the car. The Rolls Royce was fantastic. All three of us were in the oh, Rolls so Royce. Oh, so you got the Rolls Royce. Yeah, the Rolls Royce. It was a convertible thought of. Instagram and Snapchat was crazy. Alley and showroom, that many incredible cars. I was inundated with so many messages. The highlight of that trip actually was me driving that F-Pace car. That Jaguar is going to change yeah. Jaguar's history. Saying that it was amazing was an understatement. We're driving the best cars in the world in one of the best cities in the world. If you want to feel like you're a VIP and get the VIP treatment, you got to drive those cars in that country. Everything was good apart from the first day when Nadia didn't show up. I had to meet my friend. We ended up on a beach and my phone was all the way in the a hotel. A beach. So. Having a good time. Hashtag no regrets. I'm checking out a Harley Davidson. They have a road glide, I think, that they want me to test drive. You have to come. Why? That's you, it, because I said so. We just like my company, that's it. I do. Yeah, I don't like to so. go alone. I like to go with my entourage. You know, when yes. I walk in, everybody's with me, you know. He suggested that we're going to go meet this guy called Bob. A nice chit chat about the Harley Davidson Club. That to me is material for the magazine, so it works out pretty good. This time I want to do something a little bit different. Let's get in touch with all these modified garage. You mean like and Salah? Yeah. I mean, I want to do Salah's garage to start Haven't off. Haven't we done with. that before? Yeah, we've done his cars. I mean, like every now and then he creates some modified monster. I think it's very important that Arabia Motors is astride when it comes to local talent. SMS Design and Performance is one of those workshops that is renowned all over the GCC for the quality of work that they do you know they produce some very fast cars there's like the workshop the body shop and then there's a dyno what's a dyno it's like the stimulator it's a baby dinosaurs tie up the car on these rollers and it's not going anywhere but Sounds you can tune the car tie up the car yeah you tie up the car okay. and stimulate it